Good afternoon. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. I'm Zuri Bibi. Um, normally I would start this channel off saying, I don't even remember. I will probably say a topic or so, but I think today I'm just going to talk for a moment. Um, for me, you know, when I watch the other channels, I'm noticing that a lot of the um, people who are twin flames that they are of a certain age bracket but I want to say that I'm a little older even though I may not look it um, and also that I my twin flame journey I'm doing everything backwards if you if you say go front I'll go back if you say left I went right the whole journey has been for me has been really interesting but um, now that I have a better understanding of what's going on in the journey and um, it's funny because a lot of the stuff that I've been told to do in the journey I automatically was doing I mean I did the wrong stuff too but um, I don't know after a while I just started doing it right um, I didn't want to have my channel as a love channel for Twin Flames because there are so many of them out there. And I try not to be like everybody else. Um, however, I do want to say that um, I mean, the love topic of love will come up um, and I'll deal with it as it happens. But I'm, I'm more so um, when I focus on how to heal because if you don't, if you don't fit heal yourself, if you can't heal yourself, the twin flame journey is going to be rocky. It's going to be a rocky road. Um, you have to deal with yourself first before you can even entertain being with somebody else. Furthermore, when you deal with yourself, you deal with your twin also. Um, they may not understand it, you may not understand it, but after a while, when you start doing work on yourself, your twin will start doing work on themselves as well. I'm noticing that with my twin. I've been doing a lot of work, and I'm noticing that he's been doing a lot of work. I won't say anything to him, I just leave him alone, and I keep doing my work, and you know, hopefully he'll keep doing his. Um, also, this channel, I want it to be where people who are um, not of the in crowd. Uh, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a cliquish type of person. Uh, I normally stay on the outside of the fringe of things. And um, I'm looking for those people, too. Not that, you know, I understand you want to be hesitant. You know, what's she talking about? Do she know what she's talking about? How she know what she's talking about? I just know. Um, um, it's not something I know how to explain. Um, my journey started really interesting. Um, I had a visitor earlier in the year, um, a spiritual visitor. Let me say it like that because people would be trying to come up with some other stuff. Um, I can tell you it was an angel. And I can tell you it was, I believe it was Michael because he was tall. He was, I saw wings. Um, but that's all I'll really say about that conversation. Um, but since that incident happened earlier in the year, so many other things have um, happened in my life, good and bad. Um, it's helped me grow. It's helped me get to this point where I am now in my life as a twin flame. Um, but like I said, I am an older twin flame. I'm I'm on the other other side of 50. I'll say it like that. Um, but um, anyway, let's get on with the reading. Um, I don't really have a per se conversation topic. Um, I'm just going to pull the cards. I'm going to talk to the angels and the um, uh, our ancestors and spirit, fairies, um, everybody, um, the dinosaurs, dragons, 
frogs. Speaking of that, you know, I've been working in my garden. I have a garden that I've been working on. And um, I've noticed that, you know, when I work on that garden, it stills my mind and I can think clear. And all kind of thoughts come to me. You know, I before this video, I posted a video about pruning, you know, while I was doing that and how... You know, sometimes you have to prune, take things out of your life in order to grow. Um, and, you know, that's pretty, you know, pretty deep, you know, conversation. Maybe I'll revisit it because I really didn't go deep into it, um, per se, um, as a twin flame. Um, I was just give, talking in general. But let's see what the ancestors have to say before, you know, so I can even see what we are going to talk about today. I don't know what we're going to say. Um, I don't know what this conversation will be. Um, so, ancestors, aboriginal ancestors, you know, what do you have to say? You know, um, I'm looking in the past, in past incidents, current incidents, or what's going on right now, currently, and um, in the future. Um, I pull these cards because sometimes, you know, whatever I talk about may be part of the conversation. Um, I keep getting this card. Flexibility. This is the past. Mm. You know, what will, uh, being flexible. Um, clarity. It says flexibility, clarity, and advancing. You know, when you work on yourself, or maybe when you didn't work on yourself in the past, because this is the past, when you don't work on yourself, it causes a lot of issues. Um, you become inflexible, unmoving, and then when you get to that point, you're not even able to see clearly, so the, um, you don't have clarity, and you can't advance. Um, a lot of times, um, anger or fear or just not, you know, not knowing what to do um, causes these things, um, these things might have happened as a child. You know, whatever issues you might have had caused you to become inflexible and not have clarity. So it kept you at a standstill in your life. Um, what's going on right now? Ancestors have something to say. Uh, oh, there we go. We have the emu curiosity. So what are you curious about? Are you curious about being the twin flame? Are you curious about what your other half is doing? Are you curious about whether or not this is real? Or are you going crazy? Um, what are you curious about and um, is this curiosity is, is it going to help you deal with your inner child issues yeah if you you know being curious about things um, you can delve into them um, and look into it you know because normally when you're curious you're not fear you're not fearing anything you're ready to just go ahead and dive in um, what does it say You're curious, you're energetic, and there are opportunities. Yeah, so if you, you know, deal with your childhood issues and your inner child issues, it'll give you the, the ability to become energetic and regain opportunities in your life. Um, with you doing those things, what, what can your future be? You know, what can go on with that? talked about what my gifts are per se. I am intuitive. Um, I am clear audience. Um, I'm other stuff too, um, as I've been finding. But um, with the moon changes and everything, I, it, it's kind of had me kind of thrown off. Um, 
I have been manifesting a lot of things too, you know, since I've been doing the inner child work. Um, you know, we do it by default, but a lot of times, once you deal with your inner child, it will help you um, do some things. Oh, in the future, Kira, I think I, we've been getting this, and attentiveness. So you, um, if you deal with your inner child issues, you become more attentive. That's 26. At, it, um, you'll be able to breathe and you'll have insight. Um, I'll read this one. No, I won't read it. Um, it will help you heal. Well, I guess I will heal it. Let me see. Um, for, the, for the Kira, if you quiet your mind, then you hear the message you're receiving. So, you know, if you gain your career, if you become more flexible in dealing with your issues, childhood, inner demons, inner child issues, it will allow you to be curious. It will allow you to had regained opportunities that you might have lost or thought you lost in the past. And um, doing that, you be, you will be attentive and you'll be able to breathe. Because a lot of times, you know, when you're stressed out, thinking about the childhood, dealing with your childhood issues, your inner child, you don't breathe. You know, it's like you do, you just hold everything in because you're dealing with so much. Um, breathe. Heal your tired body and allow your spirit to find its pace, peace. Within the quietness of your mind, your body can begin its journey of healing, which in turn will replenish your weary soul. Yeah, if you deal with your inner child. That's what the ancestors are telling us um, what to do. Um, I bought a new, a new deck of cards to go with my first deck and it's called the um spirit animal spirit i have not used them yet i'm gonna actually pull a card um now so we'll see how this what animal we only want one can't be having all those okay i'll take this one okay we have the gazelle you know when you're dealing with your inner child how can the gazelle help us um what is the gazelle? Like I said, I, gazelle is, these cards have symbols, and I think this is an animal of the earth. This is an earth animal. These these animals are, um, you're going to deal with, let me pull it out. These cards in this deck are either the earth, water, fire, air, or spirit. Oh, and this card that I have, let me change. The gazelle is a fire spirit. Um, let's see what the gazelle has to say. All right. The gazelle has heightened awareness and ability and it's vulnerable. Interesting because I was just saying, um, you'll be, a, you know, that was what the ancestors were saying earlier. But let's see. The gazelle represents supreme grace. With every move, this awe inspiring beauty emits sophistication and elegance. Gazelle personalities are often hyper aware of their surroundings, bordering on hyper vigilant. And this can inhibit them from enjoying the beauty they've spent so much effort cultivating. No more worrying about all of all those predators out there in the wild when this card appears. It's time to get back to the present moment. Sit down, find your breath, and acknowledge the bounty that surrounds you. Let it nourish your gentle spirit. When this um, 
animal spirit is out of when in balance you're graceful perceptive and artistic when you're out of balance food allergies insomnia racing mind to bring into balance yin yoga a cozy home and good food interesting that's what this is, this is a fire from the fire so I'm gonna pull some I'm gonna pull some cards from the un, the wild unknown tarot that goes with this animal card and then we can talk about what happened you know what's going on with that um, like I said this isn't a love tarot but a love tarot reading but it might come up more cards only two um, one. all righty okay so looking at what's going on here as it you know dealing with your childhood your inner child issues it caused some heartbreak cause some heartbreak and even though you were your six of cups six of cups and the roots were deep but I can see some of these roots were dying because a tower moment came you had a tower moment but you had that tower moment dealing with whatever your issue was so that you could regain your ace of wands. You could regain your passion because apparently the heartbreak, you know, was real deep. And after you got your ace of wands, you were able to get judgment. That judgment allowed you to become in your this is um the father of wands but i mean father of cups but this is so um king of cups if you you know if you're trying to follow me the father of cups you're um you, you are able to use your masculine side of you because you have your feminine and you have your masculine side of yourself you know that's that's a twin you know we we have twin in us male and female masculine and feminine but we also have our other counterpart as well and they have the same male and female within them as, as well but in having this judgment um, it allowed you to get into your king of cups or swan father of cups energy which allowed you to start over you know if you, you if you could just deal with the issues whatever those issues are you know that you're having um when i see this the fool this is the fool starting over you get to start over because whatever was happening was rough we are rough very rough now i want to go back because you know, if you've been following me, 
I like to read the cards a certain way. Um, you had this heartbreak here, but then you're getting judgment on it. You'll have judgment. And you had this Six of Cups. And you got the Father of Cups. It's confirming that. And after the tower, you needed that tower to start over. Because you needed the Ace of Wands. You needed a new passionate start because you were done. You know, a lot of people don't like, I don't know, I like these cards because they're brutal. Um, you get the brutal truth. It's no fluff. Um, and, you know, I can even break it down even more in this ten, ten of swords. You got heartbreak because you got three over here. And then you got one, two, three, four, five. You got five over here, five swords over here. So, you know, what was going on with five of swords and then fighting. And then you got this one, one sword. So. You know, you held on to the one sword. You know, you still have it. So that, but is it down? Well, it's still down. It's, it's in the animal, but it's still down. So, you know, you're still not at the point where you can speak your truth. You know, that's what the cards are saying. Um, I'll, go, I'll go back even further. Um, after this heartbreak, you know, you... You know, things were really dark, really dark. But after the judgment, you can see the light. You'll be able to see the light after this. Things will become clearer for you. Um, and let me clarify. I will clarify it, though. Um, but dealing with your childhood issues will allow you to be able to see things. Like I said, you'll be able to... Um, be attentive well, no. you'll be able to be flexible have curios curiosity and you will be able to be attentive you know to dealing with whatever the issues you have going on in your life um, I will clarify some cards Okay, so <clears throat> that's funny. For this first, for me clarifying these, these two, judgment and heartbreak, five of pentacles. Um, clarify, it was heartbreak. It was bad. You got the two swords up here, and then you have the three swords going down here. So whatever happened affected you. It was three people involved. And you weren't in your truth. When the when the swords are down, you know, people, it was something going on with that. Whatever the issue may have been. But you'll have success, you know, with this judgment. This judgment will allow you to have success, a new beginning, a reason to celebrate. Okay, let's keep it moving. This. Six of Cups and Father of Cups. I've given up on worrying about time, so if, I, if this turns into a part two, it's a part two. Um, the thing is that we're looking for healing. Oh, wow. Patience came up. So, six of cups and father of cups. You know, if you have patience while you're dealing with what you're dealing with, 
you know, you'll be successful. You need it. And, you know, you'll have the clarity because I see a couple of rows here. You know, and I see a rainbow. That's a promise. And I see the moon as well, but uh, let's just leave it at that. You'll be able to pick the right road for you, and it'll be a balanced one. Okay, let's clarify this tower and the fool. have a passionate is rented message coming to you and this when I see this wine he's um this he's the wine of magic um this night he uh oh can you see it I am so sorry for the oh there we go this night is of magic he and his wine he he holds magic that will give you the ability to get through whatever it was because you were overburdened this was like this he's like the wounded warrior and you know a lot of stuff going on there you know but if you deal with your inner child you'll be able to deal with um get over that you'll be able to regain your strength and your magic let me put it that way you will regain your magic because whatever happened stole your magic from you all right, and last, get the Nine of Pentacles for the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Swords. You know, if you keep, if you deal with your inner wounds, your inner child, um, you will, you will have your happiness. You will. There it is. Um, that's it for the clarifying, and um, you know. What does um our guides say? You know, you know, I'm saying that you know, dealing with your inner child, whatever, whatever the issue may be, you know, you have to you have to deal with them, you know, in order to be successful. Um, as soon as I figure out how to set up my page, my account. I will start doing personal readings. Um, wow, look at that. Journey within. That's the way that you can heal your inner child. You have to journey within. If you journey within, you'll get over the heartbreak. You'll get over the towers. You'll be able to start again as, you know, the fool. You'll be able to have a restart passionately. You'll be successful in whatever is going on, you know, to help you move forward in your life as yourself. And as soon as you can move forward in your life for yourself, then you can be um, get on the journey with 